Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. Fella, what is this? The Three of Wands. Ooh, something's coming in. So your ships are coming in, okay? You could be working on some type of project. The Three of Wands, too. Um, you know, we are in the second week of December right now. Um... Something you could be thinking about. The three of wands to me, I always say, whenever I see the three of wands, I think like vision board. Um, it's whatever you're manifesting is coming into fruition at some point. So what is this about? Okay. Yeah, the nine of swords. So you can be stressed out about some kind of news or communication coming in. Or somebody, you know, I don't know, we'll see if this is you or somebody right now could be panicking, um, having a bit of anxiety about a situation here. Something is coming in. Let's see. You know what I think I want to do? I think I'm going to do this a little bit different. I just want to lay cards out and then clarify. I haven't done my spray like that in a long time, but maybe I just need to change you guys. <laughs> okay, so you have the four ones in the world. So, Wow. Are you stressed out about having victory and success when it comes to your home life, your foundation, or some type of connection or relationship? Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, the Empress. Oh, hey, what is this? The Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and then the Empress. Here's the King of Wands, the Five of Wands, Five of Swords. What is going on? It's like something at the bottom of the deck is a Temperance card. We did just have a new moon in Sagittarius. Okay. Could be this is like could be Sagittarius, King of Wands, or Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's some kind of victory and success coming in. Okay, I got it. I got it. There's like some type of victory and success that's coming in, but I feel like somebody is a little bit worried that you may walk away from them or a situation, or this is how you may feel. Somebody is feeling like a bit of anxiety. That this is someone afraid of whether or not somebody is going to have the, the patience, um, the strength, the courage to stick. To, to, to wait on something to complete, to wait on something to complete or there to be some type of upgrade here. This upgrade or whatever this completion is of this cycle um, is leading for sure to the four of wands to a time to really celebrate. I feel like there is more security, stability. Somebody is creating a foundation that's going to bring a lot of wish fulfillment and happiness. But it's like this this fear of a person, the empress here walking away for good has somebody stressed out. The temperance here on this particular card is actually a female. Now, of course, it could be a man or woman, but you can have a divine feminine out here. This in this temperance energy, this person is very balanced. They're very patient, kind. This person is perhaps a healer of some sort. And then you have this King of Wands. I feel like this King of Wands, this is a person who is also very strong-willed, charismatic, could be a natural born leader, business person, entrepreneur, whatever. This person is trying to take action now to manifest long-term success with the Four of Wands here, but something has to be balanced out. There's some type of conflict. Ooh, heavy conflict. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. There's some type of conflict. Some type of competition. Someone is competing with somebody. There's chaos. There's jealousy, tension. This is coming from some type of outside source. And, okay, so we have two fives here and then two fours. Here's the four of cups and the four of pentacles. Ooh. So, time is running out. Somebody is going to have to release something here that is toxic because time is running out. And I feel like somebody is finally getting the message for sure. 
somebody is becoming awakened and aware to the fact that like they found wish fulfillment but they're not going to actually have it if they don't eliminate something out of their life someone is going to have to leave something or someone behind if they actually want to have this this successful life this wish fulfillment or whatever they're gonna have to leave something behind and i feel like with the hangman and the ten of cups here someone's whole like point of view or perspective about a situation is changing somebody here could be the type with the hangman and the ten of cups the kind of person that um they sacrifice a lot for the sake of their family and i feel like what is happening now is somebody better wake up real quick and understand that they need to stop making these sacrifices for their family because someone may not realize that they have people that they that's family or that they consider to be friends who are like family who's actually competing with them or giving them bad advice, creating like this, this um, disappointment. Like somebody here is afraid of failure. I don't know if somebody is afraid to fail their family or disappoint their family in some type of decision that they make, possibly a decision that has to do with a divine feminine or just a, um, who they may want to make a romantic offer to. But somebody still has not come into the, the realization they're holding on to these friends or this family or this mindset is causing them to be miserable. Four of Cups. Like somebody now is finally, there is an, an awakening, uh, an epiphany that someone is about to have. They're like, wow, I'm really, really striving to have a certain type of life that perhaps is not even for me. You have the Nine of Swords, the World, and the Four of, of Wands, the Three of Wands. The Nine of Swords here, though, is, yeah. Somebody needs to stop being so worried about what others think. Or somebody is just worried, like somebody here is a perfectionist. They're worried about what other people think or they're, they're waiting on the, the perfect time or whatever the case is. And it's like, no, you need to follow your heart and do whatever you want to do or what you need to do. Somebody is realizing though, that something or someone makes them very happy. But with this realization, it brings about a burden because they're realizing that they are going to have to let go of something that they're very comfortable with. This could be you and or someone that you're dealing with. In order to receive something, something has to be sacrificed. It's very simple. Page of Cups, the King of Cups. The Two of Swords, yeah. Somebody has been at a crossroads, but look, you have the Ace of Wands and the Justice. Somebody is about to make the decision. They're going to balance something out. I'm just curious as to what, what, what do they have to release? The Page of Cups. I feel like somebody's love is growing. Somebody is very inspired by a person, but the Two of Swords. They've been stuck being very indecisive about being, um, about taking action with the Ace of, of Wands towards this brand new beginning, this new project, this new idea, this new job, this opportunity. There, somebody has an, a real opportunity to grow. You have the King of Swords is falling right underneath the hangman. Somebody definitely is realizing that it's time for them to make, like I'm, I'm hearing like an executive decision. Somebody needs to make um, a decision to really think for themselves and go after what they want. This is making a head over heart decision, but this decision has to do mostly with someone's friends and family. But it's blocking their heart to like lovers and friends and, and their own wish fulfillment. Somebody needs to stop putting other people before themselves. Yep. So I don't know, I'm gonna go and clarify. It's a very clear and direct message My, from what I see. Yeah, somebody also knows that with the three of wands, the six of wands here, somebody knows that there's wish fulfillment, there's victory, success, rewards, recognition. Somebody is about to achieve some kind of goal, but there is something here with the five of swords, the five of wands, where someone is around a person who may be disappointed with their life or they're failing in some type of way. And they're doing everything to try to make a person feel defeated so that perhaps they will walk away. The Page of Swords and the Ten of Swords is here. Somebody is watching a person and trying very hard to create a situation maybe where a person would um, 
betray someone that cares about them. Like somebody is trying to force a person to betray this empress. It's like a person is looking to see, can they make perhaps this king of wands person, this masculine, well, like somebody wants to see this person betray this divine feminine or hit rock bottom or like they're just trying to create a situation where someone will walk away from something that's actually good for them. It's very, very simple here. Yeah, the five of swords, five of wands. This conflict is to make a person reject something. And this is coming from family. The four of pentacles and the ten of cups. Somebody's family wants to hold on to them and wants this person to reject a, a love offer or some kind of brand new beginning. Somebody is about to finally wake up though and realize exactly what's happening here. You have here the Page of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. Somebody literally is trying to defend their, their choice or their decision to make an offer. Somebody really needs to stand their ground about like a connection or some type of new beginning, like connection, relationship, or whatever. Somebody needs to stand their ground when it comes to this. Because there is some kind of new, exciting news coming in. Here's the King of Cups in the reverse. Here's the King of Swords. Yeah, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and then the King of Cups. Somebody has already told someone that they have a romantic interest or they want to make an offer. Somebody came in to block this person hoping that they would not make an offer. And then here, the Empress is in the reverse. Somebody is doing everything to make a person see this divine feminine as someone who's not truly divine. And if a person does not stand their ground, they're going to literally fall for this trap and lose something that is going to bring a lot of fruitful and abundant offers and opportunities towards them. And that's exactly what someone wants to do. Like I've been picking up a lot of sibling rivalry, you know, with the 12, 12 quarter we recently had. It's like this divine alignment, the Knight of Wands is here. Yeah. It feels to me like somebody is trying to get a person to turn their back on a divine being, a divine contract, and they want this person to go into this energy of being reckless. But I feel like with the strength card, somebody knows where their strength is coming from. Somebody needs to be real. Yeah, the four of wands. Somebody needs to be very careful. And this four of wands is falling right underneath this ten of swords. On top of this ten of cups and the four of pentacles. Yeah, somebody has a close friend or family member or somebody that is really trying to betray them or stab them in the back. This person is coming in with the page of swords trying to gather information. This person thinks that they're very clever, but they're actually competing with somebody. They're curious about what is going on with this empress. Somebody is very curious about someone's relationship, their stability. The four of wands is out here twice. So there's absolutely a time that's coming for somebody to really have prosperity, abundance, peace, balance, harmony, and, and true just happiness in their home, in their connections. There's something here to celebrate and it's all around this divine feminine energy, the Empress. The Empress can be a man or woman, okay? But somebody here is really watching to see if somebody has betrayed a person or how they can betray this divine feminine. Because the whole point is somebody's trying to make a person turn down an offer or like reject an offer or something. Yeah, here, the four of wands and the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is somebody who 
cares a lot about security stability. This is long-term success, reaching milestones and goals, um, having wealth and prosperity and abundance. The, the King of Pentacles moves slowly and strategically and works very hard to accomplish certain things. It's right next to the Four of Wands, but again, there's an energy that somebody is constantly sending out. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse is taking a, this is a loss. This is, this is like some kind of bad news. The star in the reverse. Look at that. See? Somebody wants a person to stop feeling inspired or motivated by this divine feminine. So that a person will feel hopeless and they'll feel bored and they'll just say, if somebody is really trying to create this illusion, like, you know, that, that divine feminine is causing problems for you. You need to just leave that person alone. The way that person has you thinking about life right now is not good. But I'm telling you, somebody should be able to see with the eight of swords here in the reverse that that's not true. Somebody is trying to trap whoever this is. Have this person stuck and, and out in the cold, depressed, lonely, in some kind of mental entrapment so that they won't actually enter a partnership that's going to bring them victory and success. If they do that, then this person would be stuck seven of cups in the reverse in some kind of illusion, being confused. Somebody's trying to trick a person out of their spot. Mm -mm -mm. Five of cups. This is disappointment. And this is some, somebody holding on to a situation possibly from the past. Here's the Queen of Pentacles out here. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. But this the Queen of Pentacles is falling under the Seven of Wands. Whoever this person is, if they want this happy home life, family or whatever, this King of Pentacles is going to have to stand up and protect this Queen of Pentacles who is actually this Divine Feminine. Or if they don't, this partnership will not work. Two of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Swords again. Justice. And somebody now, wow. I feel like somebody is realizing that, that they, they, they really better get it together quickly. The King of Cups in the reverse, you have the Nine of Swords and the Justice. This Divine Feminine is calling judgment on this situation because somebody is saying the truth like something here is not fair. Something isn't fair. This person could even be telling someone, hey, Something here is, is blocking for movement in this connection. So I'm just going to quickly move in a different direction. This has this person now stressed out because they're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Why do you want to leave now? And I feel like somebody is, is telling whoever this person is, is being influenced by friends, family, or whomever. If you cannot stand your ground to those people, then you will never be able to stand your ground when it comes to me. So I'm out. I'm leaving. The chariot in the reverse. Somebody is just like, yeah. You've left me no choice. I feel defeated in this situation. This divine feminine has left or is leaving. And now, whoever this masculine is, they're stressed. Three of Pentacles, yeah. <laughs> this person needs to take action quickly to master some type of spiritual lesson here. The world part, yeah. The four of wands and the world. Wow. That is true success. This is somebody is being rewarded with a beautiful connection and they're, they're about to let it slip right, right through their fingers because they don't know how, they won't stand on their own two feet and they won't stand their ground to others. The three of wands is here. It's new opportunities that's gonna bring about freedom, wish fulfillment, happy success. It's something very positive here. But I'm telling you, somebody is very, very close to losing it. The hangman. I really can't tell if the hangman, if you feel in reverse or upright. Nine of Cups. The hangman. It's here in the reverse with the Nine of Cups. I feel like somebody is realizing that there's a certain way of being or a certain group of people, a job, a family member, friend, or whatever, or even a relationship. Somebody is finally come to the realization that they cannot go back to a way that things used to be. Somebody is, is going through some kind of ego death and realizing that their resistance to change is going to cause them to miss out on true wish fulfillment.
Because, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. Right now, this is, a, this is a lost opportunity for somebody. If this person doesn't let go, if they don't heal, if they don't get over a situation, this is going to be absolutely a missed opportunity. Someone is going to have to find the strength, the faith, the courage, the willpower, and everything else in between for them to go after what it is that they truly want. Because of Eight of Cups right now, somebody doesn't know which way to go. Somebody is still af afraid to change. Somebody is afraid to let go of a, a very, very um, power-hungry person. This could be someone that is struggling with standing up to, to their, their mother, their father, or, or just a person in their life of authority. But this person of authority in someone's life is dictating and controlling. And it's uh, this King of Wands here, this Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, heavy Sagittarius energy, this person could, could utilize their own leadership skills and abilities to move in a different situation, but they will have to get, this person has to grow and heal. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. This person is going to have to see, if, if somebody doesn't see that, like, the reason why they're making certain decisions in their life is coming from a place of, of trauma, wounding and pain and being brainwashed they don't they they don't see that there's a person in their life that's dictating and controlling them somebody here is under the impression that they they have things under control when in actuality they're being controlled by something or someone and now they've met someone that is is truly in control of their life this divine feminine empress i i feel and it's like this that's not going to work with this person it's kind of like the readings we've been getting lately. This person's not going to conform. If you want somebody to dictate and control your life, that's fine. But this divine feminine is like, but not over here. <laughs> your, your mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin, they, they can't run my house. They can run you, but they, they can't run me. Okay? Okay. This this divine feminine, whenever I pick up this particular energy, it's so funny to me because she's so feisty. <laughs> the ace of swords is here with the two of cups in reverse. Yep. The truth is there's conflict here. The truth is this may be a missed opportunity. The truth is there's a situation where two people who are soulmates who are coming together where there could have been true balance and harmony, the balance and harmony is not here. The wheel of fortune is in reverse. Somebody has allowed someone to pretty much like sabotage a very beautiful connection here. There's delays. The wheel of fortune in reverse is some type of bad luck. It's bad karma. Eight of swords in reverse. Somebody still hasn't escaped an illusion. The fool. Wow. And the cherry in the reverse. It's like there's the opportunity to have a brand new beginning here. But somebody is so somebody is just terrified. The moon card. And they, they're trying very hard to cover this up and to hide it. I mean, there's a major illusion here. And it has a person just stuck in limbo, resisting all change. It's this illusion. The five of wands and the sun in reverse. This conflict or I don't know if this is self-sabotage, but it's like whatever this is, somebody is deceiving themselves because they've been deceived for so long like somebody's life is a lie or, or they're like living a lie they've been brainwashed or conditioned or something the five of wands and the sun there's so much conflict and drama in the situation here where somebody now is listen honestly the sun in the reverse is like somebody is in their ego okay like somebody feels like they're in it's like Ego, but the ego that people have from being very insecure and fearful. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Like somebody's just burning. They're stressed. They're overwhelmed. They don't know what to do. The Knight of Cups in reverse. So they're not. This person, they're not making an offer. They're not really standing up for themselves or for this connection. Wow. Two of Wands in reverse. It's a missed opportunity. 
It just is. It's a missed opportunity. This person's fear of change, their fear of doing something new, four of cups again, it's the same thing repeating over and over and over again. This person, when it comes to this new idea, this new, like this divine feminine, for some, this is a relationship especially, this person has not dated this or been with this type of person before. The type of person who is free-spirited, who is not very conventional, who's not willing to let others dictate and control them. This person right now, they're just not open to this type of energy. They're not. So unfortunately, what I'm getting here is, yeah, the the devil here, the five of swords and the ten of cups in the reverse. I'm sorry, but who, whoever is resonating with this, this is a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. It is. It's, it's, it's a missed opportunity. This person is extremely codependent. And they're stuck in this cycle of codependency, self-sabotage. Because of their codependency, this person is not a leader. They 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 have like the it's like the the capability to be a leader, but they're not. This person, yeah. This person they can't stand on their own. Not right now. Mm -mm. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This person makes bad investments. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who literally, I don't know if they feel like they're cold. This person could be depending on their family for something financial or for a sense of security or something like that. So they keep investing in this family or this family business or this relationship. They're, they, they, they're not. <laughs> yeah. This person, they don't have their own freedom. They're lacking financial freedom. They're dependent on friends or family. They don't have independence. This, this So go into this situation, whoever you are, if you resonate with this, if this is your story you're watching, this is, a, this is a bad investment. This connection is a bad investment. This person is um, codependent and right now, this is a type, this is going to take this person some time. Like something is going to have to hit this person where it really hurts for them to, for, for this illusion to break out of. It feels like I'm, because I'm hearing there's a song that I love. It's called Catalyst. You and this person could be a catalyst for one another. This could be the kind of, what, what the lesson is in this situation is for you and someone both to stand firmly in who you are and not let another person or people or situations or anything else come in and force you to conform to a way of being or living that's not actually for you. This person is challenging you, if you're the divine feminine, to stand in your own like energy in essence. Like you're fertile, you're abundant, okay? Um, you're creative, you have this beauty about yourself. You cannot allow this person to force you to let go of the person that you have worked so hard to become. And you have to understand that no matter what you do, no matter how nurturing, caring, kind, and compassionate you may be, if this person is stuck and chained in this self-sabotage kind of energy, there's really not much that you can do. The only thing that's going to happen is this is going to end up being a very bad investment for you. And the conflict and drama with this person is going to leave you feeling extremely defeated. To the point that you're going to eventually give up on yourself and your own dreams and trying to um, heal this person. I feel like you, you've been on an assignment where you met this person and you're, the two of you are going to be some type of karma for one another. This person is in your life to teach you a lesson and you're meant to teach them some kind of lesson. But yeah, the three of pentacles. It's like you and this person, you came together to team up to collaborate you had a goal. The goal was to learn some type of spiritual lesson. It looks like to me like the lesson has been learned and now it's time for you to move on. Yeah, the seven of wands is here. This situation taught you how to stand up for yourself. And this person may have to lose you for them to learn the importance of them standing up for themselves. Wow. Yep. Eight of wands and then the judgment. Absolutely. 
this person, once they lose you and they see the, the damage that's going to come from them not standing up for themselves, this, the eight of wands judgment, this is going to force this person into healing. And it's going to force you into like another creative project. The eight of wands is taking action. It's movement. Something is coming at a very, very, very fast pace. And I feel like what it is, is it's um, the eight of wands to the judgment. This is, this is self-development and growth that's about to happen rapidly. Because somebody is going to lose out on a major opportunity. And what's going to happen is the universe is going to show this person. It is going to keep poking at this person. Like, remember, this is what you could have had. This is what you could have done. But you was listening because this person, you're going to have to get this person back to the streets or to their family or whomever. Because what they're going to see is this is a repeated cycle. This person keeps letting their mindset or, or people around them affect and dictate and control their life. And once they lose that on so much, they may eventually get to a point of realizing that they need to stand up for themselves. Sometimes you're just a person's karma. And this person is teaching you the importance of being independent and standing up for yourself. You cannot go backwards for this person. This is someone here who is going to repeat a cycle. Five of Pentacles, yep. You got to leave this person out in the cold, the fool, so that you can, excuse me, so that you can go on to your new beginning. It's time for you to go on a new, on a brand new beginning for yourself. And it's going to require that you take some type of risk. But what's going to happen is you're going to go into a, 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 a job, a connection or whatever with the Six of Pentacles where there's going to be equal give and take. This situation right now is not equal give and take. It's not balanced because you're dealing with the type of person here, the strength card in the reverse. This person has no strength. They're very insecure. Okay. They lack courage because of tradition. Traditions, um, living this very conservative life full of conformity, they're powerless when it comes to whatever this, this outdated way of thinking is. So you have the seven of pentacles here. It's time for you to get to work. It's time for you to get back to work, investing in yourself and not letting go of the vision that you have for yourself because what you're going into is the sun. This this was just this this was just uh, another another lesson. It's all good. You're you're going to celebrate though. Three of Cups. You're gonna still have peace, happiness, joy. You will have new connections, new friends, family, new bonds are gonna come into your life with people who are like minded, people who are part of the same soul family and soul tribe as you. Take your time out right now for a source to rest, to retreat, to recover. To heal from this situation and then you're going right into the Ace of Pentacles. There's an offer that's coming with the death card here that's going to literally put an end to you being in survival mode. And, and it's going to change your life. The Nine of Wands, you feeling like you have to guard and protect yourself and defend your own honor around people who, for whatever reason, they doubt you or they have concerns about you because you're different from them. You're finally going to be able to end this cycle where you're going to be able to go into a, a place with the sun and the ace of pentacles, seven of pentacles, where in the three of cups, people are going to invest in you the same way you've wanted to invest in this person. So you're, you're not getting the love that you want back from this person, but I feel like you're going to get it back from your actual soul family, from your own friends or family or whatever. You're going to go into um, connections that are going to be much more enlightening and enriching to your life but you're going to have to sacrifice this person this was just a lesson this was a catalyst for you a catalyst for your own change somebody to teach you that like yeah who you are it's okay for you to be exactly who you are and this person they're just not ready to go go where you're you're going just yet six of swords yeah you got to move on to peaceful calm waters the hermit this is your journey. This is time for introspection. And when you move away from this person and you release the baggage, this person is going to probably see you living your life and it's going to finally hit them that, wow, maybe they need to make some kind of change. Maybe they really need to go within. But this person is not going to go within until they're forced to be alone because this person has a problem with codependency. Yeah, 
Nine of Pentacles. Somebody needs to be alone so that they can understand heavy Virgo energy, the importance of being independent. And this could be you and this person because obviously with you and someone separating, because I do feel like I'm picking up on a connection. Some of you who are in a connection with someone, when you and this person separate, both of you are going to move on to becoming much more comfortable in your life because of the security and the stability that you're going to have and the chance for you to start achieving your own personal goals. Yeah, the moon. Dreams, illusions. The Knight of Pentacles. I just heard burning the, uh, burning the midnight oil. Somebody is about to create something big. As I said, that the Ten of Pentacles... Somebody is about to create something major. The high priestess. Wow. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody is like, let go of this. It's blocking like your biggest blessing. Strength card and the lovers. Okay. For some of you, this person could come back, but there needs to be a separation. The strength card and the lovers, let's see. And the chariot. So there isn't for movement. Somebody is turning their back on something. The two of wands going towards success. This could be going towards a, a different um a different person or opportunity. Then here's the two of pentacles. I feel like as soon as you move forward and everything starts to go better, for some of you, this person they're gonna come back. And they may be ready, they may not be ready. But you're definitely right now about to be juggling a lot. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles and the Star. This is about to be a major glow up for somebody. But whoever this person is who doesn't really believe in you or they they doubt you, um, they're worried about what friends or family say or whatever, you're going to have to separate yourself from this person. For some, like I said, it may be a situation that will come back together in the future. But right now, you probably shouldn't even worry about that. You need to focus on what pursuing whatever this creative project is that is best for you at this time. This person, they're not re they're not ready for what you're ready for. Like they're ready for a relationship, but they're not ready for growth. And you you don't need to have a serious relationship or marriage if you don't understand the importance of self development and actual growth. This person needs to find out what their own personal goals and dreams are before they dare try to worry about you. And and it's the same. You don't need to worry about this person's healing. Right now, you're being guided in a direction to do something for yourself. And you will have somebody new to come in. Here's the lovers and the king of swords. I feel like for some of you, the person, the next person that comes into your life is the kind of person who takes authority. The kind of person who they already have structure and discipline. The king of swords is not an emotional person. The king of swords does not care what other people think. The king of swords is not, they don't care about what friends or family or anybody else says. This person can, can master detachment. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. You already know the answer that, you, that you're seeking here. Your intuition is protecting you too. Oh, twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Wow. But you know, not everyone is meant to be with their twin flame. Or some of you, you may just know that you you and your twin flame are coming together, but there needs to be a, a, um, a period of separation. You have support. The marriage card has been on the bottom and it's not going anywhere. For, so for some of you, you could be considering marrying this person or this this will move towards marriage. But right now, it's some, there's a lesson that needs to be learned. A second chance, okay? So this is something that may work, but right now you need to put up boundaries. And the boundary is you need to make sure that you're not trying to do the healing work for this person. Because if you what, what people don't want to realize is when you do everything to try to help a person come out of codependency, you then become codependent with them. It turns into a trauma bond because you start to worry more about their healing than your own. So there needs to be boundaries in this situation. It says this relationship deserves a second chance, but you and this person need to take time to get to know each other. Go slow. Yeah, addiction is here. Codependency. Somebody is addicted to the thoughts, the opinions of other people or something. Strictly sexual. 
So this connection is passionate, but it's not enduring. But you have here stability. It can stand the test. For some of you, this, this is a connection. It's going to change. But it's like it, it'll only change once this person, once you leave this person's life and they see the value that you truly bring. And some people say, you know, you shouldn't have to leave a person, but you will meet people on your journey and they're not quite where you are um, spiritually. And I would say some people are willing to do the work and some are not. This may be somebody who's willing to do the work. Only time will tell. But you cannot do the work for them. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. And then mastery. Somebody's priorities are mixed up. I feel like I'm picking up more than one person though. For some of you, you have a person and they're very, they're very into you for sure. This could be a twin flame. This person right now though could be having some kind of challenges with their finances or something. If you take this situation slow, you and this person could possibly work out. But again, you have to know what are, what are your negotiables and your deal breakers. If you have somebody who there is no spiritual alignment with you and this person, then I would say don't worry about it. I mean, it doesn't matter. If you and somebody are not equally yoked and you're not aligned right now, you should, you should let them be free. And if they come back, great. If they don't, that's fine too. But I'm picking up two different situations. For some of you, it's like a situation with somebody, their issues are... Very much just like earthly, you know, challenges. Like it may be finances. It could be distance. Like you and this person could, you know, have a long distance relationship or something. But they're willing to work on the connection. So there is a spiritual alignment. But right now, when it comes to earthly matters, there could be challenges. That's something they can work through. The problem, though, is when you try to have a connection with somebody and everything in the physical, the earthly things are just fine, but there is no real spiritual alignment. That's a problem. Because you have to ask, does this person truly love your soul enough? Do they understand your journey of wanting to, to grow and evolve? Do they understand that you're here to constantly master yourself and heal? And you may be in denial about the fact that there is a lot of obstacles in this situation. And you need to figure out, can you really trust this person or in this situation? Because if you get into a connection with somebody and there is no real spiritual alignment, they don't really accept you for who you are or they don't understand how important it is for you to heal things. There's always going to be challenges. So there could be a passionate connection, but it's not going to be enduring. And that's why I said a few days or weeks ago, it's like, it's perfectly fine when opposites come together and they attract, but not all opposites who come together will have a long-standing, enduring type of connection. Some people are just too different and, and they're not meant to be together romantically. Some people meet a twin flame or soulmate and you're truly just better off as friends. So you'll have to figure out for yourself, like, What's going to be the next step? I, I, it feels very much split. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody and if you just need some time. Because maybe it's financial challenges or, you know, they're overcoming something that old wounds or childhood issues, family problems or whatever. But the two of you, you're a vibrational match spiritually, you know, emotionally, energetically. That's very important. Because you can build a connection in, in the spirit realm that will eventually show up here in the earthly realm. But then for some of you, the other half, you're dealing with the kind of person where if you're not careful, you will find yourself just in a conventional relationship. This person is like, like settling. It's okay, but it's really not what you want because you, you're not going to be able to really grow with this person. Therefore, the connection is not going to be enduring because... If you're dealing with somebody who's an empress, a high priestess, you're constantly going to be changing. Every few years when you keep getting these new upgrades and, and gifts and talents and abilities, if this person is super conservative and closed-minded, they're not going to understand it. And therefore, the journey will be cut short. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, just you have to know what, what can you really deal with. 
and think about short-term and long-term goals. I'm going to use this because this is a very split energy. I'm talking to like two or three different groups of people. Very soon. So you, you need to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Unrequited love, see? Don't settle. What you, what you want is worth waiting for. So right now, if you are someone who experiences the disconnect, separate. If it's meant to be, just give it time. It'll come back together. For some of you, what you want, you're not going to find it with this person. And it will be better for you to cut your losses now and just wait for the real deal to come in. You have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So for some of you, you need to go out, flirt. You deserve love. Have fun. Enjoy yourself, you know. Meet new people. It doesn't have to be romantic, but don't don't withhold your own divine feminine or divine masculine energy. Finances and career. So somebody is definitely having some kind of financial issues. Somebody out here could be trying to work to start something. And then for some of you, the truth is you're dealing with a person who may even be dependent on their family for, for finances. And that's the reason why they're they're choosing not to really, you know, stand stand toe to toe with these people. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of um, fun to shine. So some of you need to go out and have fun. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. There's deception here. I feel like somebody is is trying to act as if they're much more stable and secure than what they they really are. You may later find out that like this person has a lot of debt or the reason why they can't seem to separate from like a an ex or the mother of their children or even their own mother. Like this person could be, I'm really picking up the kind of person, this person could be getting money from their family. This person is codependent. They're hiding the fact that when they have problems, they're still getting money from somebody. And that's the reason why it's hard for them to cut somebody off. Because literally somebody, somebody is, is controlling this person because they're still allowing someone to help them in some kind of way. But they're coming off like they're very stable and secure when they, actually they're not. This person's codependent. You have her soulmate and attraction and free yourself and reconciliation. This could be the one. Again, it's still two different groups here. For some of you, as you just release control in a situation with someone right now who, you know, maybe is, is having whatever kind of issue in their life, you know, healing or whatever. The truth is, is that this is your soulmate and there is very strong attraction and connection and they could be the one. If you free yourself or this person frees themselves from whatever old childhood wounds that they have with this mindset, you and this person could reconcile and this could lead to marriage. But for some of you, you're dealing with the kind of person, they're deceptive. They're not telling you that like they are actually dependent on their friends or their family and they're putting up some kind of facade this is why it's unrequited love. This is somebody who you can't have a lot of respect for because they're being deceptive. They don't stand their ground and, and they can't actually fully protect or provide you in the way that they are claiming that they can or that you know that they should. And the reason why they're still allowing other people to interfere in this connection is, like I said, they're dependent on something. They're dependent on the, the, the opinions of somebody or for some, even the financial assistance from someone. This could be someone who works closely, like with their family or something like that. I don't know why this is very specific, but somebody could be living in like a family home. Like they could have a home or a car that was given to them like by a family member. They are very mindful of what they do with you because 
if their family doesn't like you, this person is afraid that they will lose some type of position or security or stability. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so again, it's 50-50. Some of you, you have a person, they just need a little time. But it, 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 it's very promising. They just need a little bit of time. But this other person, I don't hear you need to let them go. They don't know if they're going or coming right now. <laughs> Something is complicated. Somebody is not seeing the situation clearly. New perspective. Look at things differently. It's time for a change. Friendship. There could be a very friendly relationship here. So two people could have a friendship. And like I said, you and someone, you may not be coming together in a relationship just yet because there's either some kind of physical distance, like they literally could live at a distance, um, or there could even be emotional distance. This person may not be, or you may not be quite ready to go all in emotionally because there's still some kind of unhealed wounds here from something from the past. And it feels like it just something just needs a bit more patience. Yeah, commitment. There's an offer of loyalty coming in. Wow. Commitment. This person wants to be very loyal and committed to you. But if somebody here, this is for some of you that have this, this more promising connection. But then for some of you, you have a person here, you're constantly at odds and dealing with conflict with this person and it's turning into unrequited love. Why? Because this person, either they're very toxic or controlling or they're dealing with someone that's very toxic and controlling. And yes, it is time for you to make some kind of change here. This person could just be a lesson to you. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. For some of you, you have a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They are a lesson to you. The conflict in this situation, the disagreements is not going to change because there's too much manipulative, toxic, codependent energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person wants to make a very loyal, like committed offer to you. However, they're learning some kind of lesson. They could be learning the lesson right now after dealing with a false twin flame. Okay, but there is somebody here is willing to do the work and somebody here is not willing to do the work. Yeah, and now it's time for you to take action to go towards whatever's going to be best for you. Somebody is definitely deceptive. Somebody is wearing a mask. Yeah. Somebody is wearing a mask. And the, what the mask is, this person, they don't really know how to stand up for themselves. They're dealing with self-worth issues. Yeah. This is going to lead to some of you thinking over the past realizing that you you're about to have to go through like another breakup or separation and this may put you in a, a period of feeling like you should regret something but but you shouldn't because this is the, this for some of you this is like your last major lesson before you go into building a very happy successful life with someone where you have a, a like a family somebody who is a like a real protector and provider the kind of person that you can you can love, honor, cherish, and respect. This is going to happen within a few months. A fresh start. Wow. So for some of you, uh oh, <laughs> for some of you, somebody is rejecting you, or you need to reject this person because the situation is going to bring you constant pain. Okay. So whether you're choosing to give someone a little bit of you know distance and let them heal and come back to you or you're choosing to reject the person. It's going to require you to take a leap of faith and start over. This is going to be good, though. This is a very, very powerful, I feel like, spiritual level up and upgrade for some of you. You're at the very tail end of a long cycle of learning lessons around codependency. Yeah. You have your temptation. Forbidden. Yeah, something here is forbidden. This person that keeps running, you need to just let them let them go. Because it's it's forbidden anyway. And for some of you, you have a person 
they're wearing a mask like they really can take care of you and do this and do that this person is very tempted by you they're very like drawn to you and attracted to you they like what the situation looks like they like the idea of you and then for some of you you have a person they kind of ran from the connection but this person is actually very determined to come towards you with a marriage or, or a proposal but like I said, they may have won from the connection because it was so passionate and it was so intense. 